uh, and and uh, and salawat on the, upon the prophet. We we'll start with with Madh Madih. So I have here. Um, all right. Uh, I think you can see now the the screen. Can everybody see the screen? It's Arabic, so I'm going to be reading it in Arabic, and then if you can repeat with me or just listen. Then after I finish, uh, we're not going to read all of it. It's going to take a long time, so I'm just going to re uh, read the small part, and then we can um, explain it. I wonder if uh, everybody here can read Arabic, actually. Can you guys read Arabic? Or those who doesn't or can't read Arabic, can you, can you send something? Or Okay, no no problem. I'll just, anyway, I'll, I'm going to read it, and then we'll go from there. مولاي صل وسلم دائما ابدا على حبيبك خير الخلق كلهم ظلمت سنة من احيا الظلم الى ان اشتكت قدماه الضر من ورم مولاي صل وسلم دائما ابدا على حبيبك خير الخلق كلهم وشد من سغب أحشاءه وطوى تحت الحجارة تحت الحجارة كاشحا مترف الأدم مولا يصل وسلم دائما أبدا على حبيبك خير الخلق كلهم وراودته الجبال الشم من ذهب عن نفسه فأراها أيام شمم مولا يصل وسل دائما أبدا على حبيبك خير الخلق كلهم. Alright, so let's uh, try and just quickly uh, explain and translate this part. Um, the Imam Al Busiri, this is Al Burda by Al Busiri, is very blessed um, poem and Madih uh, had a lot of secrets. Imam Al Busiri himself, when he uh, like uh, put it, put it together, when he finished it, he was actually uh, chronically ill. Uh, and once he finished it, he saw uh, the Prophet peace be upon him coming in his dreams. And next day, he could he stood up and and went as if as if nothing ever happened to him, as if he was a uh, most uh, healthy man in the world. So basically, he is he is blaming himself for not doing well enough. Uh, so the Sunnah of the Prophet peace be upon him is Ahya Zalam is is doing. Qiyam uh, al and basically not sleeping at night, praying to Allah, making dua, and so on. So he is saying, I'm not following the, the Prophet's Sunnah. I'm, I'm, uh, I made, like he blamed himself, I, I made grave zulm and justice to myself. And he is saying, not only the Prophet, peace be upon him, was uh, like doing Qiyam al and so on, he was doing that to the, to the, uh, to the extent that his foot would would swell and be um, like hurt him and so on. Okay, and اشتغل قدمه الضر من ورمي وشد من سغب أحشاءه وطوى تحت الحجارة كشح المطرف الأدمي. He is here referring to also the fact that the Prophet peace be upon him um, embraced hunger, right? So he he didn't didn't eat much and he would sometimes don't have anything to to eat or to feed himself. And he never complained, right? He had he will no problem. He, he no problem. He will just tie uh, belts with with uh, stone on his belly and just uh, you know tie it too so hard uh, too hard uh, so that he doesn't feel hunger. And this this line here it is amazing line. If if you can just try and 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 you know contemplate a little bit about on it uh, or ponder. وَرَاوَدَتْهُ الْجِبَالُ الشُّمُ مِنْ ذَهَبٍ He is now here referring to the, the, the uh, story or the hadith the sahih when the Prophet peace be upon him went to a ta'if asking them to support him uh, when he didn't find any support from Quraysh and they started to, to bother him greatly after also uh, Abu Talib died and Sayyidah Khadija and so on so the support was, was dwelling that, uh, like um, reducing he didn't have enough support at the time, so the, the Mushriki Quraysh um, started to, to really hurt him and, and his people, or his other Muslims. So he went out to al Taif and trying to get support from them. They didn't, as he was like uh, going away, um, the, 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 mount, the, the angel basically came to him and said, okay, if you want, I could give you, or Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala orders me, I can give you all that mountain uh, or, or like the amount of that mountain turned it into gold and, and basically uh, give that to you 
And he said, no, I don't want it. I don't want it to be rich. I want to be uh, Abdullah wa Rasuli. So uh, he's saying that he he basically uh, like turned that offer down because he's zuhd. He has a he doesn't uh, um, lost to to dunya and he doesn't chase dunya and the zuhra for dunya. Okay. <clears throat> وأكدت زهد زهده فيها ضرورته إن الضرورة لا تعد على العصام لا يصلي وسلم دائما أبدا على حبيبك خير الخلق كلهم وكيف تدعو إلى الدنيا ضرورة من لولاه لم تخرج الدنيا تخرج الدنيا من العدم لا يصلي وسلم دائما أبدا على حبيبك خير الخلق كلهم محمد سيد الكونين والثقلين والفريقين من عرب ومن عجم لا يصلي وسلم دائما أبدا على حبيبك خير الخلق كلهم Now in these few lines again he is basically uh, demonstrating the, the the zuhd of the Prophet peace be upon him uh, and that he's not chasing the dunya um, and um, he, is, he is pointing to you that zuhd and you not chasing the dunya doesn't come from somebody who's actually uh, doesn't own anything so if, you, if somebody is already very poor and he doesn't own anything and he's claiming to be Zahid well that claim doesn't really have much merit to it or not much support. Maybe he is, but I mean, there is no really evidence of that. But if uh, that person like is or can easily be very rich and very powerful and have a lot of, of power and so on, and he doesn't do that, he doesn't chase that, this is a, the true and real zuhd, right? Um, and then he is basically referring to the fact that the Prophet peace be upon him, if it wasn't for him, the whole dunya wouldn't have been created, and that the Prophet peace be upon him is uh, Sayyidul Kawnayn wa Thaqalayn is basically the best creation of every, of, of all al alamin and so on. All right. Um, any questions? I think we we leave this here again for just for uh, the purpose of time. Any question about that? This needs a little bit of uh, explanation, but briefly, um, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says, "وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّ وَالْإِنْسَ إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُونَ." I've only created jinn and ants to worship me, to be my servants. إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُونَ. And He said, "لَقَدْ كَانَ لَكُمْ فِي رَسُولِ اللَّهِ أُسْوَةٌ حَسَنَةٌ." So the, the the example of us in how to reach that level of ibadah and to satisfy or um, reach what Allah Subhanahu wa Taala wanted from creation is to follow the Prophet peace be upon him. So because of that, if it wasn't for the Prophet that there is a, a creation that has already reached that level, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wouldn't have created anything. So it, it, it was because the Prophet peace be upon him, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knew or know from his eternal knowledge that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa his creation will be the utmost servant of him and will reach that level that Please Allah subhanahu that pleases Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And therefore he created him. And he created everything else and created the the the, the rest of the humans to follow his footstep. Okay. So that's basically what is meant here. And Muhammad Sadul Karan of Taqlain, we talked about that uh, a lot, that he is the best of creation. Uh, I don't think anybody um, like doubts that now. Um, but again, maybe we leave it uh, for QA. If anybody uh, wants some some proof, uh, proof about that. Uh, but again, just briefly, because I don't really want to leave anything hanging. But briefly, um, <clears throat> we we sent you as a mercy for everything. Al alamin, all creations. Al alamin means meaning everything except Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. So every everything that has been created, we sent you mercy for them. So so basically, uh, the Prophet has a favor and he is a mercy for ev like for every everything else. So how can that somebody has a favor over and the mercy for everything else is not as honorable or not even or, or not better than anything anything else it just it, it's uh, it's clear and there are a lot of other evidence it's not the time to to go through it now 
All right, any uh, questions? Okay, so we move on to the next part of our session in our celebration.